Yo guys, Silo Game of Thrones is here. How are we doing today? This is a no Bullshit. channel. So, what will we be talking today? You know, I am a strong best crypto supporter. Okay, and as, as I always say, um, silver, gold, platinum, they don't need any braid. You just click on button and you buy. And you buy and you invest. But crypto really needs some brain. So today I want to talk about proof of work with a version proof of stake, you know, comparison. Why I am all in proof of work and why I will never ever invest in proof of stake. Uh, let's see what is the difference and why. Why I hate all these tokens. And like I suggest you guys do your homework, you know, do your brainstorm and just understand why is a future for proof of work and not for proof of stake. It's very important because, you know, uh, today crypto market, it's like a dot com in 2000. And, you know, when, when dust will settle, you know, and when everything will be clear, right, then, you know, you will left with five ten projects that's it you know and it's very important today uh, in today market to see where i put my money on a long term okay i'm talking about long term i'm not talking about short term middle term you know you can make a profit but in the end of the day it's very important what you left with you know what you did you know you you was in 10x profit one year ago but you left with nothing today so what you know what is what is the difference you know so it's very important to understand in which project to invest okay so i will be talking about proof of work with proof of stake and proof of work is a good guys like bitcoin litecoin zcash uh you know bitcoin sv bitcoin cash and all other and proof of stake all this garbage you know stellar uh you know xrp zeta beta creta all these tokens you know what i call garbage you know but many people don't understand the difference and they just don't understand the base the base of crypto you know and they just follow you know big names or big youtubers whatever in, in their mind they don't have own opinion okay so i try to help you to build your own opinion and you know to understand what is the difference between proof of work and proof of stake and where i need to invest okay so let's go through this uh, article and let, let's give me uh, my comments on this. So proof of work consensus algorithm is the most commonly used in the blockchain technology. So both Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum are the most famous cryptocurrency. However, Ethereum is underlying protocol of Ether plans to transi transition the proof of stake algorithm as part of their development. Program. This will be the project of high significance, significance and the crypto enthusiasts are agely debating the proof of work is proof of stake. So my opinion, Bitcoin is a good guy. It's a proof of work. OK, and you don't have any management. You don't have uh you know anyone who can tell you oh i like it or i don't like it ethereum it's a black horse you know a trojan horse this is ethereum okay it was specially designed to take bitcoin down and you see it kind of uh, you know they try to develop proof of stake uh, protocol and we will we will talk about all these advantages and disadvantages eh? but my opinion you know ethereum is not a good guy okay even it can go to the moon, okay, on a short term or middle term. So let's see, let's see next. The two most important promises of blockchain are decentralization and immutable record. Immutable record is means a ledger, you know, the ledger. So once you put in the ledger, every node is connected to another node and you cannot break it. It, you cannot break it because uh, when once you break it, it, it uh, regarding to hashing, you know, hashing. I am hashing every my my node, and I transferring to another node. So why you why, once you hash it, you cannot basically break it because everyone in in this chain will say, oh, this transaction is incorrect. It is a distributed database that the computer as a network called nodes maintain in shared ma a manner. All nodes are complete ledger. Yeah, all nodes are in a ledger and they have the entire transaction history and the blockchain. How blockchain technology is also called distributed ledger network. Okay, so if you ever know, uh, you know, uh, hear about distributed ledger network, DLT, this is a blockchain. So 
Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum is a one technology and di distributed ledger network is another technology. They just, you know, use both technology uh, like, you know, to, to Bitcoin is settled on Bitcoin blockchain. Ethereum is settled on Ethereum blockchain. The network cannot be destroyed by taking out any of central server. So block record called blocks are linked via protocol program and no existing block can be deleted or modified. Uh, so block cannot be modified. So once you edit new block, once you mine it, Bitcoin, let's say mine every 10 minutes, okay? Once you successfully prove it, it's there forever. You cannot modify it. If you want to modify, you need a new block, okay? The old block cannot be modified. Adding a new block is the only way to update blockchain. Okay, so blockchain can update it by adding a new block. So let's say you have your Bitcoin on your blockchain on your cold wallet. Okay, it can never be destroyed or you need to destroy entire blockchain of Bitcoin. Okay, you cannot destroy any of Bitcoin within a blockchain. If you want to modify, let's say you send it somewhere. Okay, or you, you sold it, then a new block will have this information. The new block will have information about something which happened before. If a node <coughs> disregards the pre predefined standard are created a block, then the other nodes will ignore it. You see, if it's not a, if something wrong with this block, it will ignore it. This is what we have consensus, 51 percentage. However, if the non-compliant node continues to create block in contravention of the standard and a few other nodes also creating blocks on the top of non-compliant blocks, then a dispute will arise in the community. The community can choose a hard fork and take away the stake of that uh, network dispute. However, frequent hard fork impacts the stability of the network. So usually when you hear hard fork, when you hear uh, the um, a hard fork, means, you know, the chain can be duplicated. It means from the moment when hard fork is happened, it will be two chains. Let's say uh, Bitcoin Cash was hard fork. You know, hard fork was happened for Bitcoin Cash. So now we have two chains. One is Bitcoin chain, another is Bitcoin Cash chain. Or Bitcoin SV was hard fork on Bitcoin Cash. Then now we have three, uh, you know, uh, blockchain. We have uh, Bitcoin, we have Bitcoin Cash, and we, ho we have Bitcoin SV. Okay, that just for your example. This is how they make hard fork. This is how by uh, holding Bitcoin, you can double your profits. Because you have one Bitcoin, let's say you hold it from 2010, one Bitcoin. Then you will have one Bitcoin and one Bitcoin Cash. And then you have one Bitcoin, one Bitcoin Cash and one Bitcoin SV. Because they do hard fork and, you know, they just double and triple uh, the coins, okay? Because they, they make more, uh, more networks. There can be uh, malicious nodes overpowering the other node of the network using distributed denial of service. This is a DOS attack, okay? So if you can overcome the network with 51 percentage, then uh, you can make a false transaction or double spend transaction. But it requires a normal energy, okay? This is why if, uh, you know, the low, low energy coins, you know, which has a low, um, uh, low traffic, right? I don't know, maybe Ethereum Classic. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was DOS attack a couple of times. I think one, two times it has because it's a low, uh, low traffic coin. Then, you know, a low uh, energy is low. So it was possible to do it. But with Bitcoin, with energy, like, I don't know, maybe, you know, one state of America, you know, the energy which you need to do this. It's not profitable to do this because you need to spend so much energy, so much money. Then, the, you know, the possible, uh, you know, possible uh, earning is so low in compare what how much you, you need to spend. So it's not possible. Financially, it's not possible. Proof of work algorithm. So it was, uh, I don't, yeah, let's keep, you know, when it was proof of work. So transaction in Bitcoin blockchain are grouped in memory pool called mempool while a block is created. Every 10 minutes block is created. Every transaction mempool need verification and miners are doing verification. You see why I like proof of work because it's everything is in code. So I mine 
okay 10 minutes we they mine bitcoin they do verification and no need any any human intervention bitcoin a uh, user requests the transaction provide transaction data to miner who then process verify uh, including next uh, available block however to include the transaction in the next block the miners need to know cryptographic hash value because it's everything is hashing you know every node is hashing and collected to the another node of the last recorded block and that hidden from everyone because this is because it's hashing is hidden they, you cannot basically decode it you cannot basically go and decode it and uh, you know replace one node with another node because this is how hash is uh, uh, why hash is here hash value must be referenced by creating a node block okay so every block is referenced to another block in a chain with a hashing value to find the hash of the last block the miner must try one number after another one so they talk about uh, no skill needed they talk about mathematically computers are doing all this block it's only making more and more complicated complicated the success of man is one uh, who beats everyone else in this game solve this massive massive mathematic puzzle by using immense computer power so once i i beat everyone everyone and I, I am successfully created node and it's verify so I own this node but usually it's a pools it's a pools of miner because it's so much energy you need so if in a pool you make like six Bitcoin then you share between pool member and in pool member maybe two three hundred four hundred people or one thousand people so everyone will get zero 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 one Bitcoin you understand the, this is sharing is uh, how sharing work the cryptographic puzzle solved by the money asymmetric is moderately hard for the miner but other nodes in the network can very easy see the evidence okay this is why over time a uh, puzzle revise every 14 days to make it more complicated and more complicated so it will not be easy for other to uh, replicate it and it it means that we need a massive computer power the need to need to be henceforth Current DOS attack computing 51% of total computer power in the network is too expensive and the hacker will end up spending more than can make with, okay? Hence proof of work blockchain is very secure, okay? So if you have a long, long, long uh, network, if you have, uh, you know, blockchain with already settled like Litecoin, you know, or Bitcoin, you know, even the uh, Zcash, you know, which settled down and, you know, it, it has a normal power. You just cannot do blockchain because <laughs> amount of power you need, it's so much expensive. You need to spend more than you will basically hunt. Uh, yeah, very host, BQ money operational. Um, okay, so you understand the uh, individual man continue to upgrade their hardware to solve even more complex so it's everything is here you know you need to be more effective you know your electricity electri electricity bill will go up so you need to spend less electricity so your hardware device need to be more uh, you know uh, complicated um, Increased centralization of mining with large uh, organization mining crime dominating the cell. Such indirect centralization is again blockchain core principle of decentralization. So you see everything is here and there is no, you know, any human intervention. Okay. This is why proof of work is so strong and and it's so reliable and you you basically you don't rely on anything except of software and hardware okay this is one thing okay in compared to proof of stake algorithm why it's different so a proof of stake a set of nodes decide to stake their own cryptocurrency or transaction relations they are called stakers you see let's say vitalik you know he stakes this uh, uh you know ethereum so he he can he can make his own rules the large uh, uh, the amount of stake and the longer the duration of stake the better are the chances of the staker to get transaction validated responsibility do you understand it so like as you know if someone has larger let's say um grayscale right they they buy like 50 percentage of uh, of 
uh, you know, like say 10, 20 even percentage of all Ethereum, right? So they can make a rules. They can say, oh, you know what? Uh, I am making the rules. So this transaction is valid. This transaction is not valid. Okay. So if you, if you by chance buy some, uh, some Ethereum, which they don't like, you know, from, I don't know, from Malaysia or from somewhere. And they say, it's, oh, it's not a valid transaction. Because this is all proof of stake algorithm because they make algorithms. You understand? All cryptocurrencies network are already created. This is the worst of the worst, guys. All cryptocurrency in this network are created from day one. Do you understand how dangerous it is? It's regarding to all the XXRP lover, to Stella lover, to, to you know, to um, Zeta, Beta, Creta, Data, all these tokens. They are created from day one. So XSRP has 40 uh, billion tokens. They already created and they, okay, they see, oh, you know, it's going down. Let me take half of it. So, uh, pooms, and we have only 20 uh, billion, uh, you know, uh, coins left or 5 billion or 10 billion coins left. You see, they play this game as it's better for them. You know, it's not possible for this proof of work. This proof of work, I don't depend on anyone. But here, all cryptocurrencies that were already created. There is no mining process, guys. So I'm not mining. I created this and I'm making my rules. How dangerous is this, you know? It's, it's super dangerous, guys. You don't understand. You, on, you are on the mercy of five or ten guys who created these tokens, okay? And, you know, as far as they make profit, as far as they drink coffee morning, it's everything good. Something happened, boom. And you, you don't have your coins. You don't have your future. You have nothing left. This relates the need to solve complex geography. So they don't want to, to solve complex puzzle, right? It's like a government. It's like a fiat. You know, why they need to work hard if they can print money from thin air? The, uh, con con the continuous upgrade hardware soaring energy costs are eliminated. So they didn't, don't need to work hard, right? They created the coins and they just make a rule how to share these coins. Let's share between my friends. Let's share between, you know, who is supporting me. But he has another opinion. Oh, he is a Democrat or he is Republican. Oh, he has another opinion. I will not share with him. Do you understand how dangerous is this? The transaction related process is called forging. You know, this is a forging process, what they call. There is a need for entire network to be involved in transaction. There is no need. They don't need to validate transaction. They don't need, to, uh, you know, and they say we prove scalability. We will prove scalability because need, we don't need validation. What? <laughs> you see how, how it is? So means, you know, if I make money from thin air, then I'm, I don't need to validate this money. I am making money from thin air. There is no validation. You understand, guys? This is a fiat bullshit, you know? It's only another way of digital. Proof of stake allow another technology solution to be implemented called sharding. Sharding. Original concept from database management, where it means storing different partition database, separate servers. You see? So if they are not talking about, they're talking about database. Do you understand what's different between database and the, um, and the blockchain? The blockchain is validated by himself, decentralized by himself, where database, it is just a store of value. And database is not decentralized. Database is all centralized. It's all private. It's the same fiat garbage. In separate service stuff for high efficiency blockchain sharing means storing horizontal partition network, separate groups, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So proof of work, which is better? Okay. So this we are coming, you know, what is better? So proof of work well tested using many critical kind of projects. Those attack blockchain are impossible. High energy, but what is the uh, uh, cons? High energy cons increase strain on environment, associated towards media coverage. Uh, communities are uh, concerned about high energy code. It's all bullshit because, you know, once you'll have, you know, new technology with unlimited energy, you know, you only need new technology with unlimited energy, you know, not a solar panel garbage, solar panel. It's an old technology, you know, they dig in the old horse. You need a new free technology, which aids of 
uh, aquarium will we will have all this new technology which give you almost free energy and then it you know it will be not a problem it's a problem today for them but not problem for tomorrow uh, new generation <coughs> Private Cell Grid provides a room for more scalable blockchain with high transaction. A few projects had adopted it already. Let's a dash. You see, dash for me is always look on this. I keep it like a good guy, but I am very skeptical about dash future because you know they want to move move it. Any project which is moving from proof of work to proof of stake, be careful, guys. Okay, be careful. The only project which will survive if proof of work because it is decentralized, no management. The project which are moving to proof of stake, be careful. However, it's less secure. You see, it's less secure than completely decentralized proof of work. This is what we need: security. If you don't have security, you worth nothing. If your vault is open with tons of gold, it worth nothing. It's possible to buy a majority of the coins on the network because the stacker of choice will date wrong transaction. However, the market economy has a natural safe, uh, safety wall for this because the price of the coin will rise significantly. It's also possible the stakers to turn uh, Rogu and validate wrong transaction. Ethereum project, you see, they can validate wrong production as part of their plan transaction had designed Casper protocol. They talk about Ethereum Casper protocol, uh, which start wrong will be punishment, ban confiscated their stake cryptocurrency and barring them from staking the even again. Do you see, guys? They want to, you know, they want to manage. They want to manage. Once they design it, once people settle on this, they want to manage it. Where Bitcoin and good guys, proof of work, they don't have any management. Do you see the difference? Okay, I design you, and I want to be your boss. This is all proof of stake. And I, I, if I don't like you, you will be punished, guys. Okay, again, be very careful where you invest into project are proof of stake, which are tokens. Okay. I didn't say it cannot go to the moon on low, on short term, on middle term, but I'm very skeptical about long term. It's a plan implemented proof of stake protocol, famous Ethereum goes well. Then the crypto will be probably reasonable, assure about the ability of the proof of stake to keep the network safe. You see, if if there are too many ifs here, okay, too many ifs. They may scale of error proof of stake. The only time will tell, okay. So, bottom line, guys, okay, as I said, okay, you, I teach you what are the differences between proof of work and between proof of stake. The proof of work is the only, only ledger which is decentralized, which is anonymous, which is secure, because they don't, which is public. They don't need any management. The proof of stake it's exactly in opposite. It's a centralized, it's a private, it's a database. It's all good what we have here is all bad what we have here, okay? And they call it crypto. They call it crypto because they have to do some hashing here and hashing here and hashing here. So this is a new consensus, okay? And this is like in our life, the evil and the good, the good and the bad. The good is proof of work and the bad is proof of stake, okay? And only you guys decide where you want to put your money, in a good or in a bad. You, are you in the good guys or you in the bad guys, okay? Now you can tell me all this blah, 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 blah. All this bullshit, but if and else, I am talking about the main, the main, 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 main differences, okay? I'm not talking about specific coin, you know, like um, Zeta Data, which support video game. I am not talking. I am talking about the major concern. If do I need to invest on the long term, you know, to make it profitable in a five years, in a 10 years for my kids, where I need to put my money, proof of stake and proof of work, okay? And this is strong message for you guys, and you, you have your own judgment, okay? Listen to all, follow none. I am software developer, and I am telling you, the proof of work is a future. The proof of stake, it's a bullshit. It's a bullshit. 
specially designed to take good guys down. Silver Game of Thrones was with you. Have a good day. Bye bye. All the best.